Now we want to step through the Hello World installer in the debugger and see what that's like. And we can start the debugger by going up here to the toolbar and hitting the debug button. Okay, in the debug window toolbar, we have open, toggle breakpoint, go, step into, step over, step out, and show next statement. The toggle breakpoint corresponds to F9 on the keyboard. You'll find a lot of these are just exactly the same as Visual Studio. Go, this begins a script execution. It corresponds to F5. Step into executes the next statement in the script. If that is a function call, then it will go to that place in the script and allow you to step into it. That's F10. Step over executes the next statement in the script. If that is a function call, then it will not step into the function, but rather execute all of the lines in the script and then go to the next line. That corresponds to F11. Step out skips the current routine. And this is show next statement, which displays the next statement in your script file. So this is a script window. This is the watch window, and this is a variable window. So let's step through the script. So you see here, we're at the beginning of the on first UI before event handler, because this is an initial installation of the Hello World program, and uh, we want to see the user interface elements first. So it's setting some defaults. Um, the dir variable is set to target dir. The setup type is set to complete. Name and company are blank. They'll be filled in when we get to that dialog. So I'm just hitting F10 here. First dialog is SD welcome. You know, welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for Hello World. So we'll hit the next key. Now, you notice in the script after every call to a function, or I should say after every call to one of the SD dialogs, it's going to check if the back button was hit. If the back button was hit, it's going to go to uh, a place earlier in the script. So here we're going to dialog start. But the back button is disabled on the welcome dialog, so we'll just be continuing on. Here it's setting up the fields for the license dialog. It's making a path out of the support directory and appending the license RTF file onto it. And here's that caret, the append operator for paths. Um, that I spoke about earlier. Now you just use this with paths because what this does is intelligently adds the correct number of backslashes in the path. So here we're displaying the license file dialog. I'll accept the terms and I'll go back. I think I'll hit the back button, yeah. Okay, here it's checking. If I went back, it's going to go back to the dialog SD welcome dialog. We'll just hit go. So we're back here. Now we will put a breakpoint here so we can stop. I'll accept the terms of the license agreement and hit next. So here we are. We didn't hit the back key this time, so we set a variable, a boolean, that says the uh, license was accepted. Here we are in the SD register user dialog.
let's go to that. Here we put our username, which is RodMop, and here we'll put the company, which is WavePoint Studios. Okay, we didn't hit the back button, so we're going to continue on. Now it's going to set the result to custom. We didn't hit the back button. Okay, here, if the setup type is not equal to custom, then we'll go in here. But uh, we're doing a complete setup here. We don't have one reason that this was set this way by default is because we only have one feature in our installation. So it does not make sense for the user to go to the custom dialog just to choose the one feature that he has to have in order for the product to be installed. So that's why that happened. Okay, so ask destination path. We will ask the path. If we wanted to change it, we could just browse to the path and select a different one. We'll select the default one. Okay, and see, here we go. Here's where the default or the value that the user put in this SE dir variable, that's going to be stored in target dir. And that'll be used throughout the rest of the installation. Okay, here's the feature tree. We don't have any extra features, so this is not going to be displayed. Okay, here, on SQL Server initialize. Now, we do not have any SQL Server scripts in our installation, so we won't be doing this. Here, show object wizard pages. Uh, we don't have any objects in our installation, so we won't be showing any of their wizards. On first UI before value added services. You know, I don't remember what that's for. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's see, we may have to go to this. I want to look it up for you. Uh, 